everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Phyllis and in today's video I am going to show you how I take this thrift store purchased desk that my sister bought about two or three years ago and saved it from being trashed. I saw these inspirations on Pinterest after I did my take on the trunk look on her desk. And this one was over $2,000 and it looks exactly like her desk as far as the shape of it. But if you notice, I'm just look, just pull these off of Pinterest because of the nail heads in them. And I like the handles on this. I wish I would have thought to do that on her desk. But if you'd like to see what I did to this desk, saving it from being trashed and saving her money from purchasing another one, then just keep watching. Now let's get started. Now here in her office, and this was back in May, I believe, of this year that I did this, May or June, um, we emptied out her office, and you'll see her desk is up in the corner behind the door. And I ended up bringing it off of the wall and setting it right in the middle of the office because she has a window that looks out on a beautiful view of the park and the greenery, and the sunlight comes in. So I took it from off the wall from behind the door out of the corner and brought it in the middle of the floor. Now, as I stated earlier, this was to, she was going to trash this or send it back to the Salvation Army because she wanted to purchase another one. She couldn't see past the gold. So I told her, just buy some cheap paint just for now um, until you make a decision. So we just got some paint from Walmart, two bottles of the acrylic black paint and those two bottles cover the entire desk. Here's a uh, picture I'm showing you of what it, what the bottle of paint was that we used. We both used both the bottles and just used some sponge brushes to paint it on to cover the entire desk. And you'll see later on too that I took out the drawers and put them in another area of her room and painted those black as well. We used both the entire, both bottles and it covered the entire desk, again, including the drawers. And again, the reason why we used this paint, because this was just a temporary fix until she bought another one. So we did not see um, it making any sense to buy a can of paint when she was going to either toss this out after buying another one or give it back to the Salvation Army. Um, the prepping that we did was just regular water, alcohol, not alcohol, but vinegar and water, um, if I remember, to just wipe it down so that can at least take this paint. So this is the first coat. And again, we um, we did two coats of this black paint and I'm going to take the drawers out. Now this was late at night, about midnight. So she went to bed and I basically finished it up. I'm sealing the top of it with this Mod Podge. So while she is using it until she makes a decision on another desk, I wanted it to last a little bit. So I used the Mod Podge to seal in the paint I used it only on the top of the desk and I think around the um, side edges not the side panels or the front panels but you'll see um, further down where the Mod Podge is and because it was thick I ended up having the bottle filled with water the Mod Podge bottle and dripping some on there which is what you see here so this is mixed with water to kind of loosen up the Mod Podge because it's so thick and I just brushed it on and it right here is where you see where I put it on the side. It dries clear. And I only did this just to protect the top because of course her computer is gonna sit on top of it and other things. And then she's going to be using it. So we didn't want the paint to peel off right away. We wanted it to last just for a little bit because again, her mind was to purchase another desk. And here are the drawers. I put these in the other area of her house and painted them black. And I did the same thing with those, sealed them with Mod Podge.
Now here is where I made a decision to do something different. She has a galvanized desk on the side of the wall that is going to be holding her printer and copy paper and it has nail head trim around it. Well, when I looked at that, that's what gave me the decision to take these tacks, which are purchased from the Dollar Tree, and they're just a dollar, 300 in a pack, and I just started sticking them around the front. And that as far as I was going to go until I looked at it and said, oh, this reminds me of a trunk, so I did it all the way around the front. Thought I was gonna stop there, but no, I couldn't stop there. I went even further. So I'll be going all the way around the second level and around the legs, and here it is, you see it completed. It reminds me so much of a trunk, like the picture, the Pinterest pictures that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Again, I didn't think of those pictures until I saw this, so I went on Pinterest to find some that looked like this. Um, and like I stated, I wished I had a saw at first because I probably would have changed out the handles and got an old leather belt and put those in place of the handles. But here it is, all finished. Her office is decorated. This um initially came about because she wanted her office to be redone my sister has a rustic style flair taste um she likes a mixture of traditional and all that but hers is more of a rustic she's not a bling girl um she loves nice things but she likes things that look worn old and used so um, that's why she liked the way I did the desk because it's, tr it's a trunk. So if you think of a trunk as way back um, in the day where things just look worn and used. So putting these nail heads around the desk really fit her style. And again, this was just, I was just there just to decorate her office. We, and here's what it looked like before. Um, she did what she could. I didn't change a lot of the wall things because there's something she did. I did create a this wall, this blank wall, I created that to be her mail center where I put some things up there for her, her staple gun, her Bluetooth, and other things. This wall that you see there, I kept that there because she did that wall and she liked the way it looked. We took out that telephone chair and put it in another part of her house. Her curtains, she still has yet to change out. She put that there. So a lot of things I kept because she did it and she liked it. I told her what to do with her bookcase here. My main goal was to assist my sister with getting her office organized and functional. And now to share with my sister her desk makeover update and office reveal. And I want to thank you all for stopping so by. So I'm getting ready to have my sister come in to look at her office. And this is the way she wants it to be. So let's see how pleased she is about how everything's set up. Okay, you ready, Glenda? Ready? Yep, come to the door and I'll open the door. You can open your eyes, but the door is shut. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. <gasps> Phil, oh my God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. You like oh it? Oh my God. The desk <laughs> with the rhinestone. With the oh, tacks. The tacks. It looks almost the like a studs. trunk. Yes. And I love that look, the trunk look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is, oh my gosh. You did the whole side. Yeah, just the, just the side in the back. Because that's, that's what people are going to see. Yeah. I love it. So it's she gorgeous. loves it. <laughs> and that's all that matters. I love it. Oh, I like how you did this right here. That's perfect. Yeah, the candle. I have my candle right on my desk. Uh huh. Oh, look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. My love it. Absolutely love it. Another oh, satisfied customer. Yes, I brought that in. Yes. I said that is gray. And all you have to do is just get your um gray, black, and white yeah. throws to so go I'll over your to go over your ladder. Oh, your throw love it. ladder. Love it, love it. Yeah. I have an actual office. Yep. I have a study. A study, okay. I have a study 
Okay. Oh, this is beautiful, sissy. I love it. That's all that matters is another satisfying so customer. You know what? I you're going to keep the desk down. So what she was going to do, she was going to just keep it and buy another one because it was gold and she couldn't see beyond the look of the gold. So my initial plan, we weren't going to paint it. So I said, well, let's just paint it black. And that's why we use the cheap brand instead of furniture paint. And then I said, well, let me add some stairs at the top because of the metal desk. And I said, no, let me just do this all the way around because I remember seeing something online that looks like this. Now that she likes it, she's going to keep it. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. It looks so elegant and very studious and very like... Okay. Like ivory leaf, ivory leaf. Ivy leaf. Really? Yeah, it reminds me of something like that. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you like it. so much for watching JRC restoration decor and designs and remember the distance between your dreams and reality is called action so until next time make it a blessed and productive day everyone bye bye